Thank you, Phil, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today, uh, we are going to discuss spagyric medicine and its application for in medicine and for maintaining our health. For 500 years, this uh, particular form of medicine, which is called spagyric medicine, has been utilized and uh, concerned as a, one of the best and one of the most effective modalities of treatment. Unfortunately, in the United States, it's not very well known. So today I would like to share with you all of the information about spagyric medicine, especially all principles of this method of uh, medicine in the light of emerging a new paradigm medicine based of, on quantum science. I have to get used to these devices. Well, spagyric refers to process of transforming substances in a physical, energetic, and spiritual manner to maximize the therapeutic effect and in turn create a complete healing medicine. So the spagyric medicine may contain all different medical plants and herbs, metals, minerals in dynamized, energetical form. Okay, uh, Spagyric uh, uh, is a very unusual name, it's man-made na name, so uh, it comes from the two Greek words, spao, separate, and agero, to unite. As a result of continuous rhythmic separation and of, of again conjoining, an enhancement in quality results the term spagyric, therefore, expresses the universal method of positive enhancement. The father of spagyric medicine is Paracelsus, who was an extremely intelligent and knowledgeable doctor, and he followed and obeyed hermetic laws. The hermetic laws are very interesting, and we are going through this laws in, uh, uh, after this slide very shortly, because they are basic of life, basic of all law of the universe, and the base of the quantum physics. So he wrote in his uh, Opus Paranirum that the study of spagyric should be part of every medical uh, teaching because the doctor is going to lose they are uh, art if this particular medical science is not going to explore. This science is going to tell us what is true and what is false. The hermetic truths or hermetic teachings present seven universal laws. Laws of the mentalism, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender. These laws are the base for spagyric medicine. All of the spagyric remedies closely follow specific, these specific laws, and one of the most important is principle of vi vibration. Everything vibrates in this universe, even if we, if, if we don't see the vibration with our five senses. Nothing is at rest. And this law was rediscovered in the 20th century by quantum physics. And only differences between manifestation on the physical plane or emotional and spiritual plane is the difference in the rate of the vibration. The best example of this is the most, most common substance on this planet, which we call water. And uh, if we examine eyes or water as a fluid or um, any vapor of water, it's still H2O. But we cannot swim in the eyes. 
We cannot swim in the vapor, so they are completely different uh, presentation of H2O. In the chemistry and biochemistry, we look everything on the biochemical level, and we want to see what's wrong with this, but we, would, we are not able to see the changes in energy which creates all of these substances. So we have to go to the basic and understand how everything works. Whenever there is a vibration, there, of course, is movement. So we can see the movement of the atoms, movement of the subatomic particles, movement of everything, movement of your heart, movement of this room, movement of this planet, movement also of uh, our galaxies. Light, heat, magnetism, electricity are forms of vibratory motion. Sorry for this. As the Max Planck said, who is the father of the quantum physics, as a man who has devoted his whole life to the most clear-headed science, to the study of matter, I can tell you, as the results of my research about atoms this much, there is no matter as such. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of the force which brings the particles of an atom to vibration and holds this most minute solar system of the atom together. We must assume behind this force the existence of conscious and intelligent mind, and this mind is matrix of all matter. This vibration cannot exist without polarity. Polarity is something dual. Always vibration, we have a this plus, minus. So it has to be dual presentation. And the spirit and matter are the two poles of the same thing. But of course, the polarity exists between them, depending on the quality of vibration. The polarity decides about rhythm. Everything flows out and in. And this is always a representation of action and reaction. This rhythm decides about life. All your cells without polarity and without rhythm cannot function. That's why we have a depolarization and repolarization all the time. That's why we have an hourly function of the organs, and that's why we have a day and night. This is the rhythm of our life. This is the rhythm of our cells. And only we are diseased when this rhythm and the polarity is incorrect. So the role of any medicine is to restore this polarity and rhythm. And of course, whenever we have a previous one, rhythm is always causation. Every cause has its effect, and every effect has its cause. Nothing happens by chance. In order to understand, the, to understand this pajuric medicine, we have to understand those laws, and on this planet, we are exposed to two powerful forces. One force, is related to this wonderful planet Sun. Without the Sun, we cannot function. Another is the moon force. One is the day. One is, according to traditional Chinese medicine, is so-called yang energy. That means action management. The other is moon. And in traditional Chinese, that's a night, of course. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's a yen, resources of energy. In humanity, the sun is the male and the moon is female. Everything that exists is subject to law of polarity. So everything has inherent healing, as well as the toxic destructive qualities. So if we take medicinal plant and do nothing about this, we, of course, we are going to have a desire effects, but also side effects. So we can obtain 
only a medicinal remedy free of side effects when by separating out the factors that work against healing, we create purified products suitable for healing. And that's way of spagyric. We separate this good from bad in such a way that we must unlock the subtle healing energies from their polarity, because always is something good and something bad. So we have to isolate, isolate these medicinal properties which are good and transmit them into a medicinal remedy in a purified form. The spagyric methods are very unique because the regular forms are not going to do it. And through these methods, we can prepare medication with such a properties without undesired properties. So the spagyric remedies do not cause any side effects. There are three governing principles of spagyric medicine as a three governing principle of life on this planet. The one is Mercurius, which was called by um, Paracelsus Mercurius. It's a life energy to form. It's activating healing impulse. The other is a soul. It's a life energy to keep the form. It's a returning healing impulse. The healing cannot be constant. It's a rhythm. Healing, relaxing. Healing, relaxing. There is a third one, which was incredible, uh, taking under consideration that he did it, he, he uh, researched on uh, this pagyric medicine 500 years ago. That's an information. He called this sulfur, information on form. This is very, very typical what we see right now. We are information age, and everything depends on those three forms. Life and energy which is available to form something, to create something. Next is energy to keep this creation, keep this form. But it has to be information. Without information, we are completely lost. Just imagine yourself right now to function without internet or cell phones. Everything would be completely disrupted. We are still living, unfortunately, in Newtonian, Newtonian science age. Newtonian science was created in the 17th century, and it's still dominant force of our science and knowledge, especially in biological fields like medicine and dentistry. So Newton basically said that, well, we have a force, when we apply to any substance mass, we are going to have a specific action. This action is going to be predetermined, and this action is always will be the same. That's why we're taking medication. We know about how this medication should work. Apply to the patient on the specific weight, and we should always have the same predictable action. But we know that doesn't happen. At the beginning of the 20th century, there came a fellow, Albert Einstein, and said, wow, uh, this is wonderful knowledge, but it's incomplete. It's incomplete truth. That means it's false. The truth you cannot divide. is only one truth. Either it's a false or truthful statement. This is basically the force it works very well on some level of uh, our reality. But he, Einstein said, no, that's a different word. The word works completely differently. And he created this very well-known equation, E equals mc square. And of course, we learned that E is energy, M is uh, matter, mass and C is speed of light. But how to apply this to biological units? How to apply this to medicine? How to apply this to any biological science? So we have to understand this equation. 
The E is not energy. E is energy of possibilities. That's the big difference. The possibilities exist in our life all the time. And either they are going to become reality or not. It depends on many factors. In spagyric medicine, Paracelsian knowledge, it's Mercurius, energy to create. On the cellular level is the polarization. And it's, re it's also um, represented by oxygen, because oxygen is going to create energy in the cell through the, through the metabolism, through the phosphorylation, in order for the cell to perform some work. The cell has to perform some work on the basis of energy which is produced to, uh, to, uh, with oxy through the oxygenated phosphorylation. If we're going to the next one, it's M. M is not mass. As I mentioned to you, the mass doesn't exist, basically. It's an energy of realization. Possibilities become reality. In spaduric medicine, this is soul. Energy to sustain form. And on cellular level is repolarization. It's a process of regeneration leading to stability and harmony. It's related to elements hydro hydrogen, but basically hydrogen is so active and not very stable, so it's going to co uh, connect with oxygen We have a water. This is the time in the, uh, in the uh, uh, rhythm of the cell when the, the process of the detoxification will occur. The most of the waste material is water soluble, so we need this water to flush all of the toxins out and restore properly again the level of uh, activity of the cell. The same happens in your life because you, know, you have to work during the day and you have to rest, sleep at night, so that's what it is. It's a process of uh, generally depolarization or repolarization. And then finally is a C. And as you can see, that's a, that's a square over here. So uh, I think it's a, one of the most important elements of this equation. And we told that the speed of light, and uh, it, it's, it's correct. All the processes are we, you know, very fast in our body. But we call this torsion field of spin. The difference between Newtonian and uh, quantum physics is the spin. Because we realize that everything is spinning in this wonderful universe, from the electron to the atom, galaxies are spinning, everything is spinning. So the quality of this spin decides about everything. This is also information. In spagyric medicine, the vibration of uni universal information. And in humanity, the consciousness, quality of your thoughts, quality of the everything that exists. So how does spagyric work? Do they affect the cell in such a way they're going to control, repair everything? Not really. They work in a very simple way. They want to restore the proper polarity and proper rhythm of the cell. We are born with some innate abilities which are perfect. During the life, of course, everything is changing. We are programmed uh, with all different information. Our thinking is different. We, of course, abuse our body as, as much as we can. So it creates the chaos in the cell, and the cells want to survive. So the two parts are very important in function of our cell. First is depolarization, that's creation of the energy. This is, of course, the part of the pro production of the heat, the also be, uh, through the oxygenation and dehydration of the toxic, we are going to prepare toxins for elimination, so it's a form of detoxification, but also stimulation of the cells, this phase, and uh, uh, in order to produce something what is necessary to produce, whether it's a hormone, protein, whatever it is. And the second phase, each as important, which is depolarization. 
So the spagyric is going to restore this rhythm of depolarization and repolarization in the cell. The same is going to work on the system. Restore the function of the sympathetic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system. The same is going to restore the function of the day and night. So this is the day, this is night, this is fire, this is water, this is yang in traditional Chinese energy, and this is yen. This is management, this resources. So it works in this way in order to restore the proper rhythm and proper polarity. And one of these extremely important is information. Because each of the cell has a different rhythm, different polarity. Rhythm of the heart has a different polarity than the rhythm of the stomach cells. The same the skin, completely different polarity rhythm. So it has to be particular cells targeted by these spagyric remedies. We cannot, for somebody who has a heart problem, the skin preparation because it's not going to work. So we have to determine which type of spagyric remedies we are going to use with a spe specific information. This type of medicine is extremely specific. So we know that we are going to have a fantastic result. There's no guessing in this. Everything has to be very specific. So right now in our conventional medicine is very mechanical view of disease and of course the healing lies behind this view. The professor Carol Rubia who received Nobel Prize in 1984 stated matter is less than billion part of manifestation in the universe. The rest is energy fields interacting in space according to law of intelligence, resonance phenomena and creating information fields. And the physicist Jacob Bekenstein said the physical world is not made only from the matter and energy. Information is just as crucial an ingredient. The information is a guiding and organizing force in nature, a force that creates the system, and this system organizes and processes information. The modern science right now in the 21st century explores the physics of coherent oscillation which occur when two or more systems resonate together, imparting information to each other. And this system view information is changing the face of biology and medicine, so probably within a very short period of time, you, you will see the different medical science, different medical system. Throughout the human body, each second, Trillions of chemical processes form a tangled web of interconnection. They make enzy enzymes, proteins, hormones, and other substances that the body needs to work properly. All of this must be exquisitely timed. The difference of the one second decides whether the person is alive or dead. The substance might be produced in very specific quantities and delivered with precision to the correct cells. So it is reasonable to assume that this intricate biological dance must be choreographed by something. And this something is information. Every fiber of material being is made from cells. Our health or lack of it depends on the quality of the cells and how well they perform. We have a between 50 to 100 trillion cells in our body, only 10%. Uh, are the cells which uh, um, uh, create a solid uh, body. 40% is non-solid body, mostly blood. And the rest, of course, is this uh, incredible uh, um, ecosystem of the bacteria which uh, uh, helps us to survive. We are in constant change. Every, every moment, different body is created. Every one second, five million cells die. Every night, you're losing one trillion cells, one percent of your cells. All protein in the body turn over six months 
We make the skin once a month, skeleton every three months, new stomach every five days, new liver every six weeks. And basically, we're changing 98% of atoms and, mo and molecules every year. Probably you know this picture, this wonderful ground regulation system, which is very, very famous. Uh, Dr. Alfred Pischinger, who was a professor at University of Vienna, presented his wonderful books, Matrix, uh, in 1975, and this ground regulation system. It was defined as a functional unit, and it's not only presented as a organ cells, but as a whole environment of these organ cells. The organ cells cannot function on its own. This interstitial space, connective tissue space, is extremely important. This is the place when through the capillary, all of the goods are delivered to the cells, but at the same time, the waste material is removed through the lymphatic system. This space are controlled by autonomic nervous system, sympathetic and parasympathetic system, which is connected to central nervous system and hormonal glands. All organ cells depend on the intact function of this system. But this, this theory became the foundation for most of the unconventional trends in medicine. In Europe, func functional and biological medicine. In the United States, holistic, uh, alternative, complementary medicine. Many names, uh, not always meaning a lot. Um, despite this innovative approach, completely different from this rigid allopathic medicine, still follows the Newtonian paradigm of science disregarding quantum uh, physics. Definitely, it was very uh, new approach, and the Pischinger understanding uh, is different than the Newtonian medicine in such a way that regulation unit is an open system, influenced not only by genetic information, but other impulses from the uh, environment. We are born with incredible innate abilities. The elimination of waste materials and all types of toxins is essential function for the body's survival and maintenance of its balance on all levels of science. And this important function starts with the first breath, and the mechanism of detoxification is genetically predetermined. As you can see, this little boy is very skillful in elimination of the toxin and uh, thus didn't have any formal training. <laughs> so, the old functions when we are born are already in our body predetermined, and depending what we do with our body, we of course we are going to change this uh, information. 2,500 years ago, Plato said it's the greatest mistake in the treatment of illness that there should be physician for the body and healers for the soul. For these two cannot be separated. So our purpose, we have to determine our purpose as a medical practitioners and understand the ultimate goal of medical treatment is not to control, suppress, or continuously manage the human being's health but to restore the body's innate abilities of self-management, self-organization, and self-healing. If Nobel Prize winning Professor Rubia is correct, it's only about 1% uh, is matter, even below, and 99% is energy. But unfortunately, in medicine and any additional fields of bi biological fields, we are just focused on physical and not energetic aspects. According to Spagyric theory, everything in existence is made of three essential principles. Physical body, soul, the mind, sulfur, and the spirit, mercury. Basically, the mind means the center for emotion and feelings, and the spirit, which is uh, only expression 
of, uh, as the information, it's, it's related to our thought, consciousness, and understanding, or more reasoning. So spajuric remedies and spajuric medicine as a whole follows all of these laws, laws of vibration, polarity, rhythm, causation, and also respect planetary influence because they always produce in total accordance with planetary influences. It is a very timeless art founded on the basic life principles, and this art was able to produce a highest quality natural medication. We are paying attention too much to quantity. Everything in medicine, everything in science is, a, is the only quantity. But the most important is the quality. Like in this water, we know that's H2O, but what manifestation of this water is going to be depends on the quality of energy which is going to determine this uh, uh, presentation. We are very fortunate because we have uh, two German spajuric companies on the uh, American market, which is Soluna and Pecana. So you can utilize both of them in, uh, uh, to, in your practice to improve the function of uh, many organs and, of course, uh, eliminate the dysfunction in uh, unhealthy patients. The founder of the Soluna was uh, Alexander Forbernus, famous alchemist, scientist, and herbalist, poet, and philosopher who follow the uh, work of Paracelsus and Hermes. He wrote the wonderful book, Alchemy and Nature. Unfortunately, it's only in German. Uh, and uh, he was the best friend of Rudolf Steiner and great contributor to his uh, philosophy. Soluna and Hermes are very special, specific, specialized a combination of homeopathic preparation made of medicinal herbs, metals, and minerals. And they are created in a cycle of uh, uh, distillation and maceration. This uh, cycle of di uh, distillation represents solar information and uh, maceration lunar processes. So it combines the benefits of homeopathic mara tincture with those of the high homeopathic attenuation and the experience can show the scope of application is very extensive. It is related to, like all of the spajuric, to different vibrations. Vibration of the planet, vibration of the metal, vibration of medicinal plants, and related to organ. So if you take, let's say, sun, is a, a vibration of the, or heart rather, it's uh, related to sun, gold, and sun John's word. If we are, um, a brain is related to moon, silver, and tobacco, tobacco, and all of the organs are related to some, uh, s uh, some planets or metals and medicinal plants. The production of spaduric is very, very lengthy, uh, very uh, demanding. As a lot of work is, uh, uh, has to be uh, applied to, to preparations. There are four basic principles. Fermentation, distillation, calcination, and finally unification. In unification, distillate and uh, dissolved ashes are mixed together, creating a spagyric rem remedy. It's called sacred wedding between the sun and the moon and between men and women, wisdom and love. There are many, uh, about 21 uh, preparations, Soluna remedies over here. So, uh, and uh, uh, all of these companies, Soluna and Pecara, both companies are going to definitely provide uh, you with uh, any information you, you desire. They have a wonderful catalog, and as I mentioned, it's, uh, they are on the uh, American market. The Pecara is founded in 74 by uh, Peter Beersdorf in Kingsland, Germany, and uh, create, he created AD special homeopathic remedies, uh, called them modern spagyric. He changed a little bit uh, Paracelsian um, uh, law that uh, he, he used uh, a little bit different approach and never used distillation. Uh, 
Peter uh, was a very uh, interesting fellow who I, I, I had the opportunity to, to, to know him well. And uh, he um, wanted always to, uh, of course, experiment on many, many different uh, methods. So he created this specific and innovative remedies with low alcohol contact, a content and utilizing yeast and sucrose for initial fermentation. You have uh, many of these uh, uh, preparations, so I, if you're interested, always please refer to a company which will uh, present to you. I don't have a time to go with each preparation. It would be a very lengthy uh, lecture. So why is podgeric medicine is so effective? First, they are working at the same time on physical, mental, and spiritual. That's a, a spontaneous, a simultaneous uh, uh, work on all of this level of our humanity, and uh, combine the be benefits of homeopathic mother tincture with those of high homeopathic uh, attenuation. They regenerate the function of the organs, support self-healing tendency, and work harmoniously with cosmic rhythms. They are fantastic with detoxification without production of toxins. And they support self-knowledge and therefore aid in the development of the personality. We know that in the 21st century uh, we have a tremendous problem, disease on, uh, our disease on rise, and uh, all of the wonderful and useful discovery of vaccines, antibiotics, and pharmaceutical drugs, not panacea. Uh, they work only on one level, on the physical level, and very often they are working against the information we have already inherited. So they basically mess up our information and they determine that uh, the body is um, not capable to return to the initial uh, innate information. So we have to work against these uh, wonderful discoveries, but discoveries also creating incredible problems. The spagyric uh, medic medication is non-toxic, natural, effective, and proven, proven medicine for self-regulating the body to its healthy state. Remember that, 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 that most of the important part is self-regulating. We don't want to control the patient's body, patient's uh, dysfunction all the time, because we control only the symptoms or some other function of these diseased cells, but not returning them to the self regulating uh, 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 and uh, uh, organizing, self-organizing um, level. In the prevention, spagyric medicine is able to alleviate the source of the disharmony on all levels of the body before disease occurs. And all of this disharmonious energy in human beings are replaced by a corresponding one from plant world in the dynamite state. So we're using them as eliminate some of the information which is not correct in the body. And of course, as a detoxification and the drainage remedy is very, uh, very beneficial for the, for the patient. We are living in the in toxic world. In 1900, America was the healthiest nation of the world. 78, 79 place. It's not good, according to National Bureau of Health Statistics. Every third person is allergic to something, every fifth is mentally ill, every 30 seconds someone dies from the heart attack, and every 55 seconds someone dies from cancer. Prescription, of course, increased because most of the people are sick, it doubled since 97, of nearly 4 billion prescription filled in 2007, which is uh, um, almost 13 prescription. Uh, filled by each and every American, and we have a tremendous problem, iatrogenic effects, uh, which is the third uh, cause of death in the United States, and they kill as many as 200,000 people, put 8.8 .8 million in the hospital, and account for about 28% of hospital admissions. But this number are probably higher, there are a lot of statistics which show much higher number, but this is uh, uh, 
pre presented by JAMA, so uh, not always accurate. When we're talking about toxins, we always have to look at the terrain because the higher toxicity will also change the terrain, will produce more acidity and the changing also temperature. So all of the enzymatic functions are not going to be perfect. 150 years ago, probably you remember this uh, incredible dispute be between Bechamp and Pasteur, uh, that j finally they decided the germ is nothing and terrain is everything. It's completely forgotten today. We utilize medication without looking at the most essential part of our body, our terrain. It's like coming to home full of garbage. Instead of eliminating garbage, we use mouse traps to, each, to, to catch infestation. As long as garbage remains, pests will take advantage of the situation. So whenever we have high toxicity, like in this case, there will always be compromised immune system, poor function of the organs and opportunistic organs that will take advantage of this situation. Spagyric medicine is also very uh, beneficial for treatment of chronic degenerative psychosomatic disease. Most, mostly they are uh, due to high toxicity, poor terrain, uh, dysfunction of the, on the cellular level. So all of the, these uh, medications are going to help and to eliminate um, uh, all of this dysfunction in the work on the three levels of our being, body, mind, and spirit. They also accelerate self-healing process through the physical attributes, energetic qualities, and correct information. When the quick regulation and stimulation of corrective process in body is going to heal without any detrimental effects. And uh, it's excellent conjunctive therapy for conventional treatment with elimination of the uh, toxins uh, and, of course, minimizing, uh, minimizing uh, side effects. One of the very important parts of the spagyric medicine is the rhythm therapy. The humans can only maintain long-term health if they live in accordance with the rhythm of nature. Men and nature follow similar patterns of yearly and daily rhythms. So pace of modern life throws many people out of balance, causing, of course, fatigue, lack of vitality, increased susceptibility to infection, psychosomatic illnesses. So they will restore this rhythm, not only rhythm of the particular cells, but the daily rhythm. And we are uh, right now experiencing epidemic of insomnia and many conditions related to dysfunction of the rhythm. The most of the um, advanced neurological conditions like Parkinson, like MS, ALS, the, uh, are, are associated with uh, dysfunction of this rhythm. In dental <coughs> practices, we know that, uh, we, uh, we should know that each tooth is unique. Like each organ is unique, each tooth is unique. It's an organ and it's associated with the other organs on an energetical basis, on information basis. So uh, I, I presented over here all the spagyric which basically I utilize in order to support the, your treatment but also prevent some, some problems uh, uh, in, in case there is an inflammatory condition or minor infection. But during the treatment and after the treatment is essential in order to drain this tooth or, uh, uh, or space after the tooth to, uh, to eliminate any toxins uh, which are, are going to be imprinted in the, uh, in the bone or in the connective tissue over there. And we have to look at the tooth individually. When we look at the wisdom tooth, not that each tooth is the same. That let's say the upper right wisdom is a completely different than the opposite one. As you can see, there's a different, the spagyric is used, in even different emotions, different relation to the organs, different relation to the spinal and the segments and vertebra and horm uh, hormonal glands. So the, the number 16 is, is, is a different completely remedy. Next one is also different one. 
So it's not the same. If we treat everything the same, we do not expect the same results. We have to be very specific and treat every condition and every organ uh, individually. I've been practicing for a long time, over, over 30 years, and I realized that always in the plan of the treatment, the selection of the appropriate remedy or medication or techniques or, uh, or any modalities, as well as the correct dosage and frequency of treatment, is extremely difficult. Now, normally right now, everybody is generally using guessing. In a conventional medicine, this guessing is based on the scientific studies, so-called scientific study according to the diagnosis. And in a non-conventional medicine, uh, practitioner, practitioners rely on many different methods, whereas the kinesiology and specific uh, kinesiology, specialized kinesiology like ART, um, Omura testing, transdermal computerized testing, all different. We have uh, right now so many different uh, uh, com computerized testing, and uh, uh, it's very difficult to determine which one is the best. Or Kirlian photography, and many more. And uh, for being also since 85 in a, a non conventional medicine, on the side of non conventional medicine, uh, I had the opportunity to, to work in uh, many European countries and uh, work with uh, uh, leaders in the fields. And uh, uh, I went through all of this type of non conventional medicine testing. I work with Clean Cart, I work uh, with Omura, I work with all of the, uh, the people who presented this method. But according to French research, there are two types of energy information fields. Remember, there are two types of energy. One type of energy, which is produced through the ox oxygenate, uh, oxygenated phosphorylation, is the ATP, which is energy to perform, to perform work for the cells. But the second information, the second energy is information energy, which determines how this work will be done. So it's very important to know something about this type of energy, which we call energy information fields. This is related to traditional Chinese medicine, to acupuncture, because this acupuncture is the, is the transport of information through the specific pathways. So we have a two types of information fields. One is centripetal field energy, which is going inside of the body. And this is called, in traditional Chinese, Chinese medicine, is the yin energy. There are resources of energy. And the second one is a centrifugal field energy, which goes outside. It's a Traditional Chinese medicine called yang energy is a management of the energy. Like anything else, like our banks, uh, bank accounts. Is this is our saving account, this is our checking account. We manage everything, but we have to have resources. If we don't have resources, we are not capable to manage anything. And this research revealed that all mentioned above methods of in instrumentation, kinesiology, AV machines, and many, many more, are able to detect only the information from the centrifugal, this centrifugal field of energy management. So it's all, only management. Unfortunately, the most causes of chronic degenerative condition originate from the dysfunction of the centripetal field of energy resources, which cannot be detected by those techniques. So over 25 years of research, they created a system of full evaluation of information energy fields of the body, including centripetal energy resources and centrifugal energy of management on the basis of frequency measurement using modified lacquer instrument. And one of the great benefits of this technique is the possibility of measurement of quality of habitat, place of work or place uh, we live, food products, supplements, remedies, and medication, with the ability to determine compatibility 
with individual organs. So everything is very specific. There's very, very precise compatibility testing. In my medical practice, I've been using this method for about 16 years with great results, establishing the treatment program not by guessing, but through reliable quality measure measurements. And I check multiple spagyric homeopathic resources, including Soluna, Pecana, Nestman, Unda, Hill, BHI, R Pasco, Hevert, Raiko, Vala, Phoenix, Elha, Regenerasans, Vitorgans, many others. So the many of them are not, ex they are not in, uh, in the United States, unfortunately, because they are fantastic remedies. And I would like to present my my uh, clinical uh, results uh, when I utilize this method. I chosen uh, uh, Lyme cases. Why are Lyme cases? Because all of these patients uh, represent all of the dysfunction in the body. They have a high level of toxicity, including heavy metals, and solvent toxicity. They have a multiple organ involvement. They have a multiple uh, infections multiple deficiency with the mineral and nutrients, vitamin deficiencies. They have a multiple energy blockages. They have a multiple uh, emotional problem as well as some problem on the level of the spirituality, on the level of the consciousness. So uh, the pilot study was done some time ago, 63 patients uh, uh, we, we treated in our facility. Most patients had already multiple visits in conventional practitioner and non-conventional practitioner. They've been on antibiotic therapy for, for years. And currently we have over 350, closer to 400 patients uh, successfully treated for Lyme disease. The all subjects came to us with long-standing diagnosis from 6 to 245 months. And they had a different also diagnosis, chronic fatigue, depression, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, arthritis, anxiety, ankylosis, spondylitis. The treatment always started with detoxification, always, in all of these cases. Not that we wanted this, but that's during the evaluation of the patients always shows that these patients require detoxification, and there was extensive detoxification, and as well as improvement of organs of elimination, especially kidneys, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, large intestines, and our lymphatic system. These patients, because they were very toxic, they require also intravenous detoxification. In oral detoxification, 88% requires spagyric remedies. So you can see how important this spagyric remedy is because it's going to drain toxins and support the organs on three levels of our beings. Each organ, each cell, everything represents itself on also on those three levels of our being. Spagyric remedies were selected overall because of ability to work on this three level and very high quality. When we check the quality, it is a way to check the quality, uh, not what is inside quantitative, but qualitative, qualitative values of these remedies. And it was established for some time in Europe, so it's a way to check this so we know what type of quality of the remedy uh, this particular medication represents. And uh, also, we, this patient requires intravenous detoxification, many of them chelation, oral and intravenous, or any others, and also antimicrobial treatment and regeneration. They basically, uh, after successful detoxification, improvement of the inner environment, milieu, and improvement of organs of elimination, all of 63 patients underwent antimicrobial therapy with 100% elimination of causative uh, organs. This is a typical patient, 43-year-old male, our colleague, doctor, with a severe depression, dizziness, severe muscular and joint pain. He couldn't function and uh, he uh, couldn't work for, past to, for three years. Um, and uh, he was diagnosed with Lyme disease for the past eight years. 
We check, we're using a special way to evaluate this called the uh, bioresonance uh, bio analysis of health. As you can see, the word bioresonance, that means it's on energetic, energetic level. And we decide of the toxicity of the patient. That's a shimmel uh, work of the bio, uh, so-called bio, <coughs> biological index between 1 and 21. 1 is the best, 21 is the worst. This is 18, very toxic patient with multiple pathogens, viral, bacterial, fungal, parasitic and also Borrelia, of course. Autonomic nervous system had a poor regulation due to heavy metal toxicity, mineral deficiency, emotional stress, plus many, a few other things, but it's most important. So here the oral program with the spagyric, intravenous infusion always was combined with oxidative therapies and neural therapies, in this case, segmental neural therapy. After three weeks of the very intense detoxification, he was ready for the action, so he had an antimicrobial infusion together with oxidative therapies and psycho-emotional therapy, and finally, he had to go through IV chelation and regeneration therapy at the end. So after three and a half months, it was a resolution of all symptoms and elimination of causative agents, he returned to active employment as a radiologist, and that's a very uh, fellow who was uh, uh, practicing in Hawaii and uh, was coming to us twice a week. <clears throat> After two years, uh, two, two years later, he's uh, still symptom-free, enjoying healthy life. There is no sign of uh, any, any uh, disorder, uh, no Lyme disease. So the key to success is always, always detoxification. And that is it missing in, of course, our conventional uh, medicine, but also in non-conventional medicine, the detoxification is done uh, as, a, as, a, as a guessing. Maybe I've heard about this treatment, I've heard about this treatment. This treatment has to be specific, and the intelligence of the body is going to tell us what precisely we have to do. So three to four weeks of intensive drainage was performed with oral, mostly spagyric, 88%. Uh, also minerals, occasionally isopathy with the Sanum remedies. And intravenous detoxification was performed to get twice a week, or once or twice a week, which should be performed uh, with neural therapy, oxidative therapy modalities. After this time, we uh, balance patient energy using a French method we call ACMOS in order to restore proper information. And finally, we perform antimicrobial therapy to eliminate cold agent, uh, in this case, of course, I I infection agent. And then chelation therapy, regenerative therapy, or psycho-emotional work, perform the patient if necessary. So BAH, bioresonance analysis health, is completely medical system, global evaluation of health, and personalized program of treatment is established on the basis of this evaluation. Affects uh, in the, uh, is three parts is considered, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. There is no guessing intelligent approach. And it follows the new paradigm of 21st century biological medicine, which is supported by quantum physics and considers each person as a unique individual human being with incredible abilities to heal. The main goal of this paradigm is to find and eliminate the causes of the dysfunction of the body on all levels, spiritual, mental, emotional, biochemical, and physical. Allowing, allowing body to restore its natural inherited healing ability and reestablish the, body, the body's balance and harmony, perfect health. So we have to restore these abilities. We cannot control patients all the time. The patient is born free and should be free. The freedom is uh, the most important aspect of the body. As, uh, uh, um, as all mystics would say, that truth gives, the, gives you a freedom. So that's, that's what we want to look for, the truth in order to free our um, human, other human being. The Mahatma Gandhi said that if we do not change our beliefs, if we are going to follow our old programs, we are not going to change. So our beliefs become our thoughts. Our thoughts become our words. Our words become our actions. 
Our actions become our habits, and our habits become our values, and our values become our destiny. Thank you.